Okay, let's uh, let's hear it again. You can hear it popping. This is gonna sound bad. How you doing? Probably. I'm working on something, something interesting, I think. Also, apologies. I'm chewing gum. I should probably stop doing that. I got a request Whoa. through the ether, so to speak. Someone's looking for a crew to take a score, but why? Uh, why is it not loading for me? It's a bit odd. Okay. We got a porn bot! Woo! Hey, my name's... I, I, can, I can hear it fully clearly as well. Okay. Yeah, so this can get turned down. I think the audio's alright. We're gonna ignore the fact that it looks like. Oop. <laughs> Oops, let me turn that off. It's, oh, and you're a Dalek too now. That's cool. Okay. Let me actually read this because it's making me curious. Not to do it, but I think it's funny. So, hey, with three Y's, babe, comma, good grammar. How are you doing? Question mark. Sparkling heart emoji. Then there's my name, my username. Not my like my my actual. This is like my full name and address. I'm feeling very naughty and bored right now. I need to turn the radio off. I just, I just realized that. Yeah, let me do that. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, let me turn that all the way down. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm feeling very naughty and bored right now. <sighs> emoji. Although I will say that that should have been the ending of the sentence. And then she should have capitalized, come sub and chat with me on my OnlyFans. Also, by the way, no, we don't do that here. I'll send you a free that word. I know what the word is, but I'm not. If you sub, it's free and DM me your Twitch name on there. Eh. Emoji, parentheses, 18 plus. My OF is that. Not going to read it out because there might be some degenerates that want to watch it. But anyway, yeah. So we're here and don't mind how bad this looks. It's uh, there's just a lot of Halloween events going on right now. We're just going to gamble. We aren't even going to. Normally I'm okay with ladies of the night, but. We did just get one in my chat, so I am incredibly sorry, ma'am, but uh, there we go. Now, sometimes it just has to happen. And there's nothing wrong with being a lady or a lad of the night. Let me just clarify, just in case people want to say things about me that aren't true, I believe that it's fine to make a living that way, but, uh... One, only if you're good... If you're good at it. And two... If you really... If that's, like, literally just the best option for you. Because it really isn't the best option for some people. And I can say that, because I have considered it many a time. God damn it, Dax! He fucking ruined my oppressor! Not my- he didn't ruin my oppressor, but he ru- yes, yeah, so you can see all those UFOs. That's, um... That's the Halloween event going on right now. We're gonna try not to hit any of those. Cause, uh... That's gonna cause some issues, like teleporting me halfway across the map. Something along those lines. Okay. At least there's not one over by the Diamond Casino. 
I honestly might just go down the storm drain. Oh no, G Stash has been spotted nearby. Shut up. I'm gonna ask you. Oh no, did a fucking. Okay, it, it went way past the. Okay, yeah, that's way past the um, casino, so I'm not that worried. Okay. I was wondering why I was so quiet in my ear. I didn't have the audio turned up all the way on my slider. Okay. And... I didn't need to do that. I don't know why I did that. But... I did it anyway. Sorry, there's a lot of, um, there's a bit of smoke in my house. I should probably check on that, if we're being honest. Eh, the air's not that hazy, we're good. Oh, good, no, that's just the, the glow from, that's great. I'm so glad, I can't wait for this Halloween event to end, because it's, it's, I hate it. Gonna spin the lucky wheel. We also haven't really made any profits off of anything except the wheel since last time. Gonna go with a light one. That actually might get us vehicle. I kind of, ha I almost have that dialed in. Oh, good RP. I'm actually not bad. I'm not mad about RP because I'm almost level. What? What am I? Yeah, I'm almost level 90. What is the car? Oh. Well, it's a Karen, so I, I suspect this is supposed to be like a Toyota, but that... What the hell? That's like a rib cage down there. Do you see that? Anyhow. Of course, we're not going to start out with, um... The horse racing track. You know, because... I, I know that's probably where we're going to end up, but I don't want to end up there. Actually, let me see. How much is one of the high roller suites? Because I don't think I'm going to have enough to, like, save on it. Or, like, to have money after. Yeah, I'm not even going to have enough for it. Okay. So, yeah, there, there's the answer. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for that. Poker might actually be the smart way, but I am not feeling smart. All right, blackjack, my favorite game, my favorite game to gamble on. Max bet, let's do it. It's my favorite game to gamble on, but it's the one that in this game is the least friendly to me. Okay, yeah, I, I gotta hit that. Eight, I think I'm gonna stand. Wait, what? Okay, okay, woo. I got a little concerned there. I was like, is that, was that supposed to happen? But it was, so we're all good. Seven, that's a good start. Showing sixteen. Sixteen. Ah. Uh, Cause I have enough. Yeah, he's got a what? He's got uh. What is that? Is that an eight? No, it's not an eight. What is that? Oh, it's a queen. Okay. No, wait. What is? It? I can't tell. Wait, oh yeah, dealer's cards. Okay, they've got a 10. It looked like a single digit for some reason. Okay, yeah, no, I've got a... I'm going to double down. I'm going to double down. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Oh! That's big. Yes! Beautiful. 
I wonder if, if when you get the high roller suite, you can actually do this with friends. Because I might do this with my friends, if I'm being honest. 14. I've got a hit on that. But I feel like that's a double down. I'm just going to hit. I'm not going to risk it. That's why I shouldn't have risked it. Yep. That was a lose either way. We're losing that one. Time for bets, please. Bets are closed. Good luck. I really wish I n remembered how to play poker. I knew I knew ha at one point how to, but Would you like another card? I don't anymore. I have eight, and he has an eight on one hand. So yes, I have to hit. Sixteen. I have to hit. I can't not hit. There's seventeen. <sighs> So if I need to get a four to get max. I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to hit. Ah, I'm gonna stand, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fucking stand. Fuck. I forget how to remove chats. I don't want to pin it. I definitely don't want to pin the OnlyFans message. I have to hit on that. Actually, I'm going to double down on that. I'm going to risk that for the biscuit. You fucker. Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, I wish I remembered how to play poker. But I, I really do not. Ah, hey there, bud. Oh, speaking of hey there, bud... Oh, I got a story. <laughs> so my buddy was um he j his his uh cat was is a mama cat now. Uh, she just gave birth to three kittens uh, just uh, this morning or this afternoon. I can't remember, but it was when he got up and he was working the late shift at the counter where I work. So he's working until ten. But seeing as how the cat like gave birth on his bed. And then he had to leave for work, like, right after. Uh, he wasn't too happy. So he's like, I'm going to try and see if I can leave early to clean that up. Because it's just gross. And also to take care of the cat and the kittens. Um, which, I mean, depending on how things go, I might end up getting one of them. The weakest one. But, ooh, what did I bet on? I think I bet on black. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Anyway, so yeah, he was like, I don't know if anyone's going to end up taking my shift. I don't think they will, which sucks. And I was like, I get that, you know. Yeah, I get it. But uh, no one was taking his shift, and I was like, well, shit, man. I've been training up there for a little bit, and it would do good for me to have a bit more training, like, on my own. Let me do it. So I, he's like, you sure? I'm like, yep. So I went up front. And, first of all, I only worked up there for two hours, right? An extra two hours. So I got an extra two hours on my shifts, which was nice. But, fucking, funnily enough, and this is always how it works with everything. If you're ever in any sort of service job for people, they will always, always, always do it wrong. I don't care how much you prepare, they will do it wrong. What I mean by that is I was there for two hours. And the majority of the two hours that I worked... Is it on black? Yes. And, and the majority of the two hours that I worked, right? I ended up... Yeah, why not one more? That's what I'm saying. But the, ma the majority of the time I worked there, two people came in. Only two people. So from eight... Like 8.15-ish to probably our 9.45. So I guess not two hours, but you, you know what I mean. Like an hour and a half. The, t the two hour part that I was supposed to pick up. Two people came in. And the last 15, maybe 10 minutes, I had four separate people come in. Sorry, no, I had three separate people come in. And then I had one guy 
who came in. I saw his car pull up as I was locking the door to close the shop. Literally, he pulled up and that I was supposed to be done. But I let him in anyways. I was like, yeah, yeah, all right, you can come in. But I look at him, and I swear I didn't mean this to me. Whoa. I didn't mean this demeaning whatsoever. One more? But, because, I mean, the word bud to me isn't that demeaning. My dad called me bud, and it's a very loving term. But I know a lot of guys don't like to be called bud. And I look at this guy, and I hold the door open for him instead of locking it right in front of his face. And I go, you're lucky, bud. A little bit longer. And... He was smiling like he was like, yeah, I know, yeah, until he heard me say the word bud, and he immediately just dropped the happy expression from his face, and he looked pissed. I, I thought it was so funny. I'm like, well, dude, you know, if you can't handle being called bud, maybe show up on time. Then that won't happen. Also, I didn't mean it, so sorry, but, you know, fuck you. But yeah, no, I, I saw that and I thought it was fucking hysterical. Also, fuck, now that we're, we're, we have a gambling stream, a game where, a stream where we're not really doing nothing important, I can, uh, tell you about my, my weekend at my buddy's college. So, uh, we, we being me and, uh, like, three other guys went up to my friend's college for the weekend, for Halloween weekend, they call Halloween weekend. That's when they all celebrate it because they can't really do it on a weekday because they're college students and that would suck. But, um, what did I go? So, oh, here's, first of all, let me say this. I've been excited for this for, like, three months, technically, all in all. Because I knew we were going up there and I knew we were going there for Halloween. And I told, I made sure to tell every single one of my friends... I am going as a Viking, and this shit's going to be awesome. So I have this costume that I spent probably $200 on, all in all. Maybe a bit more. And, ooh, please be black, please be black. Yes! And literally, like, three days before I go out and go there, the guy... So two of my friends from home are are there, and one of them lets me know three days before we go there that hey, we're doing a themed thing. All the guys, we're all dressing up in onesies, like animal onesies. And I I look at this text in the group chat that we have, and I go, I spent two hundred dollars. For nothing, and I'm not even gonna be able to get to wear it now. Because first of all, I live in an area where like no one trick or treats, because we're outside of like a bigger town, so everyone goes there to trick or treat. So I'm not gonna get to wear it, but I I could sit and wear it at home. But where's the fun in that? I wanted to wear it out there because it looks cool and epic, and I look I look sexy in it. I look fucking great. It was a genuinely, like, really, really good costume. It was the most I've... Yes! I've ever put into a costume. You know, I haven't put that much effort into costumes before. But, you know, I, I sat there and I, w I was... I was just thinking to myself, like... Are you, are you fucking kidding me? I put so much work into this. Like, I, I researched what to, what to get. I, I, I didn't do that much, but I paid a lot, I paid money for this, alright, I've never paid like $60 for a costume, now I paid 200 bucks for a costume, and now I know that I'm not gonna get to wear it, so, I mean, of course, yeah, I was upset, my buddy was like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I thought I, I let you know, I'm like, y yeah, well, you didn't, which is fine, I just go and get out and get a onesie, but I couldn't trust that any of like Walmart, any of the bigger stores had them. Plus, I only had three days to look for them, and I didn't. I had to work like two of those days. Or actually, no, I had to work all of them because my week was short that week. Please give me black. I love you. Anyway, also we're betting red now since we have four blacks in a row. 
Um, but so I couldn't trust any of like my uh, my bigger stores around me to actually have uh, an outfit for me, a onesie. So I was like, okay, well now I gotta go online and look something up and hope that it gets delivered in time. And there was only one onesie that I saw on Amazon that would have shipped because I don't have Prime that would have shipped to me at like before I went because I was going to leave on Friday and it would ship on Thursday and none of the other ones would even ship Friday so I can just wait for it and leave like at late at night so I, I get it and it's a, di- a big ass dinosaur onesie I, I left for work on Thursday at I think like 3 and it didn't show up yet so I was really really scared Oh, Black you kidding me? You're joking I'm betting on red again Anyhow But yeah I, I that happened I was like I feel angry I feel very angry right now That kind of pisses me off um, I already forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so, so I left for work and it still showed up yet on the day it was supposed to show up. And I was I was concerned, so like, I might not get this. I might have to go as a Viking, which, I mean, regardless, I'm bringing. Because fuck these guys. But not metaphorically, I love them, but fuck them. For not letting me know until it was too late. And I was a bit upset, but I was like... Whatever. So I got it. I got it as soon as I came back. I was like, hold on. Like, I got back from work and I was like, wait, I should check and see if it showed up while I was at work. Please be red. Wow. Okay. Wow. Jeez. Anyway, I'm going to get up now. And go back to Blackjack. But yeah, that happened and I was like, wow, that just... That's like really good timing, I guess. Ooh, queen. Sorry, telling the story is not gonna be good for me. I'm gonna hit. Yes, please. Yes, please. Fuck you. He's got a three. Okay, I'll I'll stand. Fourteen. Okay, I'm happy. Jeez, man. Had me scared for a second. But, <clears throat> as I was saying... Time for bed, please. Yeah, uh... I already forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, no, my... my I got home from work. I was like, I don't, I don't... I should... I waited, like, a half hour before I even stepped out onto my porch and went to look for it. Because I forgot about it. Would you like another but then I, um... I'm going to double down on this. Go for big money. That's a bust. Fuck! But I was upstairs in my bed. I was trying to sleep. I was like, I should go and check and see if my co- my onesie got here. And lo and behold, yeah, it did. Uh, but it showed up like shrink wrapped, which to me was just w- perfect. Twenty one. Let's go. Beautiful. Um. But yeah, no, I like it showed up as a brick. Like it literally just a brick. Which was crazy to me. It, it was shrink wrap so hard. It was like bending. It was honestly harder to bend that than to bend like. No, I'm not saying like rip a phone book, but like it was harder to bend that than to bend a phone book in half. Which was crazy. Like you wouldn't expect that. Fuck you. And I popped it open, and I, 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 I stabbed it, and I literally heard the air go, <laughs> which I don't know if you could hear that, but it was, it was like the biggest suck sound I've ever heard from a plastic bag. I was like, that's crazy. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, in, in an effort to, uh, wait, let me, uh, stand, first of all. Let me check this. Okay, all in 
me check what states I'm allowed because I, I can just say this. Got an eight. That's great. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna hit. Oh, I thought I canceled for a second. I was. Whew, okay, yeah, I'm gonna stand. Let me check. Fuck you. Yeah, let me place a bet, sorry. Good luck. Okay, yeah. So let me just clarify that. I was with my guardian this weekend. Because then it's fully legal. <laughs> I went out and I was... Uh, I was drinking with um, my buddies and my guardian. My legal guardian. Perfect. And, um, what was I going to say? Fuck you, you stupid cunt! I, oh, shit. That's not allowed. <clears throat> but, um, as I was saying, sorry. I was legally drinking with my, uh, parent-slash-guardian on the beach with my buddies. That's what? 20? I'm gonna stand. 16. There's 20. Go fuck yourself! I hate you. I literally want you to die in real life. <clears throat> Sorry, that might be a bit ag aggressive, but I mean it. Anyway. Sorry. First night we were there, so Friday night. Um, we decide, and, and keep in mind, so every time I mention doing substances, uh, it's perfectly legal in my state to, to do them with a parent or guardian. So in every single one of these stories, a parent or guardian was there. Uh, we went down to this beach by, like, right next to the dorms of my friends. And I was fully dressed in my Viking outfit. I had a, a pelt over my shoulders and I had leather armor on. I was wearing linens. Just to give it like the really, really old clothing look. And let me tell you, I might actually wear some of those linens as uh, nighttime clothing. Because they're really, really breathable. And they're really comfy. <clears throat> uh, also... And it's, like, fucking crazy hot in that. I, I put that on in my house just to test if I could do it again. Because you should always check and make sure you can still fit your costumes if you got them before. Um, Not that I think it'd be that different. I was just making sure. Plus, it was adjustable, so it wouldn't matter. <laughs> and uh, I put it on, had my friends set it up, and I looked great. I had my meat horn on my side, and we went down to the beach, and I packed an entire backpack full of seltzer waters, Corona ones, and, um, yeah, I was, uh, I'm trying to think what, what, what to say, oh yeah, no, I drank one in the dorm, then when we got there, I cracked open another one and drank it immediately. Wow, we're really a lot of bets on black tonight. One more? Yeah, I drank another one as soon as we got down there, and then I drank another one. Sorry, sorry, no, I didn't drink another one. Then we smoked a little bit of uh, that or that ganj, and I inhaled way too much. I am a pussy when it comes to smoking. I cough a lot. <clears throat> So, uh, I started coughing a lot, and we're on this rocky beach, it's beautiful, the waves are out, and I, there's this picnic table, and then right next to it is this little wooden shack, like this little hobo fort that people built, 
and we smoked a lot, and we smoked uh, Keef, too, so it was really, really hard-hitting. It's probably the highest I've ever been in my life. No, that's not true. But I was getting crossed, and I was coughing so, so much, and I felt the liquid in my mouth, like the, um, the spit in my mouth go warm, and every time I know that happens, sorry, every time that happens, I know I'm going to throw up. So that's the, the bile heating up. And I'm like, oh, all right. Or the bile rising, sorry. So I was like, okay. Oh, my foot. I just stretched a tendon on my foot really bad. Ow. But I, I was coughing super, super bad. And I felt the, uh, the bile rise to my mouth. And so I get up. I turn around. I hold the meat horn above my head. Because I, I was kind of filling it, up, filling it up as I was coughing. I had set my drink down. And I just yak all over these rocks. No one noticed. And I walk back to the picnic table. I sit down. I make sure my mouth is clean. And then I start drinking from the meat horn again. And they go, Jesus Christ, Sam, how many are on? I'm like, okay, first of all, I just threw up. So I'm kind of negative right now. And they're like, you threw up? I'm like, yes. They go, wow, okay. And I'm like, also, this will be my third. And Jacob looks at me. My buddy Jacob looks at me. He's like, that's your third? And I go, yes. He goes, Sam, I've seen you get smashed off of two seltzer waters. I don't even know if you should be able to do this. And I'm like, dude, I'm fine. We're good. And I ended up making my way through, I think it was six seltzers that night. So I, and I had a 12-pack, so I was out of, out of them by the next night. Completely out of them. And I had smoked a lot that night. I had smoked a lot more that night. And I had taken lighter hits. So I was feeling better. But, uh... We got... We were sitting there and we were we were passing uh, joints around or whatever. Good. I'm so glad that the fucking nighttime came back. The nighttime filter came back. I'm so happy. <clears throat> Let's see what this was. I bet it on black, right? It's probably gonna be red again. No, it'll be black. I'm, I'm faithful. Well, that's my baby. So that's what I'm saying. You gotta be faithful. Anyhow, um, what the fuck? Okay, I don't know why that didn't. Whatever. We're gonna go and bet on the racetrack now, because we're gonna have some fun. Um, anyway, as I was saying, I'm trying to remember what I was saying. It is kind of hard, because I get off track so much. Oh yeah, we were passing the joint around, and I'm sitting there still dressed up in my entire costume, on the beach, as a Viking. And there's, a, we see a figure coming towards us in the dark, like just walking down the beach, basically. And I have a tendency... Ooh, scrawny nag! Let's put a full bed on him! And I have a tendency whenever uh, I see someone in public... To, to, I, I, I do like to embarrass my friends, and I like to do stupid things. So I look at this person in the darkness, and I go... And like As loud as I can, I go, HURRY! Just scream hey at them in my deepest voice I can possibly do. Without it sounding like a Batman impression. And she gets closer and closer. And I hear her say something like, Don't worry, I won't report you guys. And I look at her, and she's wearing a police hat and a reflective vest. So she was one of the campus police. Fully saw us smoking. It was like, I'm not going to report you guys. Don't even worry about it. After I screamed at her. And I just have to say that woman is awesome. Because the fact that she was that willing to not do anything about that is, is incredible. And I, I appreciate that so much. But yeah, no. And she stayed on the, like, the beach for a long time. And Jacob, who had never, he had never smoked before. This was his first time smoking. He had, uh... He had gotten pretty high, and when Jacob gets high or drunk, he gets sleepy, and so he ended up taking a big time nap 
inside the hobo shack. Which was, I mean, you know, sometimes you just can't not find things funny. And it was very hard for me to not find that funny. So, we're watching him, and then we look over, and the policewoman's coming back, and we're wondering if we should wake him up or anything, but we're like, no, that'll seem too suspicious or whatever. And she walks by, says, you guys have a good evening, looks at the hobo fort and sees him passed out in it, and just goes, huh? And keeps on walking, doesn't even fucking care. And we're just like, she leaves, and after a bit, and we, like, we feel safe. We start laughing our asses off. It was so funny. That she just looked at him and was like, Who fucking cares? <laughs> Ooh, money to burn or stupid money? We'll go stupid money, because stupid money sounds more correct for this. We want stupid money. We want money earned the stupid way. But, uh, yeah, I drank a lot, got super drunk, ended up going all the way back to the dorms, and I slept. And I know I've mentioned on a previous stream that, uh, the people there have a habit of saying that I am not real, which I am proud of, because it just makes me feel so, it makes me feel so fun. And, uh, relating to that, the very next night we go to a house party, again, with a parent or guardian so I can make sure that we all understand that. So not no I'm gonna pay on Scrawny Nag. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna let him down. Scrawny Nag. I'm gonna do eight thousand though just because I want it to be even. But um yeah, we go there and I had drank on the way there, we walked there through the campus and then to there. We saw a bunch of people, and they, they, they had laughed at us and whatever. They'd be like, that was awesome, because this is the night that we were all in our onesies. And uh, this is when the two other guys had showed up, besides Jacob. And we get there, and um, I, I don't recall a lot of it, because I did drink a lot. I drank the other six of my seltzers, and then uh, Mike's hard in a can, and then I drank another... What did I drink? I drank a couple shots of Pink Whitney, which is like, my parents never loved me type drink. They do, but whatever. Uh, but I was super drunk. I ended up standing out with this guy we call him Gio. He's Italian. I had never met him before, before that night. But he was talking to me about how he wanted to be a therapist. And he was like, yo, yo man, you should open up. And I was like, okay, first of all, man, we have never met. Uh... But sure, and so I started talking to him. I didn't really want to, it just kind of happened. I started talking to him about my dad, because he was talking to me about his dad. And I was like, I feel so lucky to have the dad that I have, and how supportive he is, and how much I love him, and shit like that. Like, I think I was, we were out there for half an hour, and he was just, I, I at one point, I stopped myself, I was like, oh shit, I'm so sorry, I should be listening to you. He goes, no man, I'm happy that you're talking, This this sounds like, you have a really good relationship with your dad. I'm like, thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm proud to have the relationship that with my dad that I do. Um, but I, I sat there talking to him for an hour about how much I, I wish I could do better for my dad. But I'm also not living for him, so I don't, I don't do that. That's not like my main goal. But every time I screw up in his eyes, I feel terrible and how much I love him and how much I wish I could, I could be the greatest son that he ever could have. Like, literally half an hour of me just pouring my heart out about my dad to this guy. And I did tear up quite a few times. But, um... <laughs> yeah, no, I was just... I was sitting there and I was, I was... I was talking to him about this and then he started talking to me about his dad. I'm like, yeah, yeah. We were, we were talking back and forth. We were having a pretty good time. We go back inside... And I look at my friends, and I have my, my mead cup filled up with... I think it was the last drink I had. I think at this point it was the last drink I had. The last seltzer I had. And I let my buddy Justin have a sip. I let my buddy Jacob have a sip. And then I try and give Brady 
my buddy Brady a sip. He doesn't want it because he's like, I've had enough. I was like, okay, man. But th the the drinking from my mead cup to me was like it made me feel like we had a, a bigger connect uh, connection than than anyone ever. Because we weren't siblings, we weren't blood, but after drinking from that, I was like, we are blood now. You and me, we're blood brothers. We'll always have each other. And I got to talking to a bunch of people or whatever. And I remember how it was decided that I was going to go home. I just ended up getting in a car. And the, the DD, her name was Hannah. It was her car. And I get, it was like a Nissan Altima, so we had a, a big ass trunk or whatever. And it was two of my friends ended up sitting in the trunk. And normally if you're in the trunk, you'll duck. Because, let, let me be clear, I will ride in the trunk places. And I have rode in the trunk places because of course I would. Why would I not? I'm trying to make it so everyone else has a comfortable seat. But what you do there is you duck down behind the window. And when you have two people, it's kind of hard to. So, uh, we ended up getting pulled over by a police officer because she saw that there were people in the trunk. And they were like, you can't do that. You gotta send someone's lap or whatever. You, you can't do that. And I was so drunk that I didn't know one who was outside and two I knew that everyone that I had seen get in the car was inside the car so I was like why are we getting pulled over and dealing with these two weirdos on the side of the road I didn't even recognize they were my friends and then I feel the the liquid on the inside of my mouth get warm while we're pulled over by this cop while she's standing right next to our car I have my alcohol bag in my lap and I go, oh no. And then my friends hear me gag. And then I just start throwing up. Like, it wasn't like all over the car, but I threw up like down my chest. Because I didn't want to throw up on anyone. Because I'm not an asshole. Also, sorry, by the way. Uh, just disgusting uh, news here, by the way. Uh, and then... They're like, oh my gosh, Sam, oh my god. And like the entire time I'm saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to do this. And like, Sam, we get it, it happens. It happens to everyone. I'm like, yeah, but it's not supposed to happen to me. I'm supposed to be perfect. Because even while I am drunk and making a fool of myself, I cannot not make jokes with like a narcissistic part personality because that is the way for people to laugh is when they know that you don't actually mean that but that anyway that happened and we're driving away I don't know where my two friends who were in the trunk went but whatever and I ended up throwing up again and then I think a third time and I kept saying the entire time like I'm so sorry I'm so so sorry and <laughs> I, I just I felt so terrible and I I when we got back I was like I'm so sorry I'll clean your car out tomorrow morning I'm so sorry and at this point it was Sunday morning and I, I just seriously kept profusely profusely apologizing to these people I was like I'm so sorry I, I feel like an absolute asshole right now they're like no Sam don't worry it happens to everyone we've all done it we're not proud of it but we get it And uh, the next morning, I woke up, had no idea I did anything. I felt like shit. I got up, and I was like, I think I puked last night, but I think we're good. And I walk over to the bathroom, and right next to the bathroom door is my alcohol bag. Which is covered. Covered. In my vomit. And I look at that and I just go, oh, motherfucker. And I, I, I just like, I was like, okay, well, it's still kind of early in the morning. I'm going to take care of this. And I take it to the bathroom and I, I scrub it down with like a sponge that they had, a disposable sponge. And I throw the sponge out. <clears throat> and then I, um, 
I go out. I go back into the uh, the main, not the main hall, but like the main room that we were all in. All right, that's it. And um, I lay back down, and I, I go through everything. And my dinosaur onesie had vomit, so I just threw it out. I was at my clothes. I was like, I don't know. I know. I was like, okay, well, I I think these might have vomit on them or something, but I can't see any and I can't smell any. I can smell some in my beard, which is gross. So I washed my beard out, and then when I got home, I shaved it down a lot. I didn't shave fully, but I shaved it now, so it, it's it's short. Um, and now it's clean. Obviously, now it's clean because now that I got home, I also showered. I was gonna shower there, but I ended up just never doing it. Every time I wanted to, I like we always ended up doing something. I was just like, fine, all right, we'll go get food. Fuck. And then I ended up going and cleaning out Hannah's car, who I'm I'm pretty sure, funnily enough, actually has a, a crush on me. I'm pretty sure she has a crush on me. Not for me throwing up in her car, let me state that. Um, but I think that she does because I woke up. And I ended up going through my camera roll when I when I got home just to see everything that I had saved from the weekend. And there was a picture of her snap code on Snapchat that, first of all, I didn't remember a whole lot from the night. But I could have sworn I didn't do it. And it was her snap code, not on my Snapchat. I didn't have her added. It was on my actual camera. Which I was like, okay, that could be me because I could could have been drunk enough to be like, eh, I don't want to open up Snapchat right now. But at the same time, if I opened up Snapchat, like literally all I had to do was open up Snapchat and take a picture of it. I didn't have to like do anything. I and I wouldn't have had it to like navigate. I put it on black, right? Fuck. This is gonna be a bad stream, ain't it? This is gonna be a storytelling stream. We're just gonna go evens, man. We're gonna try it on evens, see how that goes. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh god. Sorry. But I'm pretty sure you had a crush on me because I don't remember taking that picture. Granted, I can't remember if I took that picture, but if I did, I really I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Uh, but... Yeah, no, that, that happened. I ended up cleaning her car. She said, it really is fine, you know. You didn't... Re like, I, I didn't really look at it. I took a peek in. There, I've noticed some zones that you got puke on. Uh, but... For you puking in my car, first of all, it's remarkably clean. Jesus, man! What the fuck?! But for, she was like, but for you puking in my car, it is remarkably clean. Uh, so, you know, thank you for that. And I go, no problem, I didn't really uh, mean to do it, but you're welcome. And she was like, also, just side note, little impressed because, as I said, we've all vomited places. Probably the best smelling vomit I've ever smelled. And I go, Really? That's impressive, because I'm, that, that just is impressive. If someone's ever, like, you have probably the best smelling vomit I've ever smelled, that isn't, first of all, it doesn't mean it's good, but that's way better than being like, yeah, I, I threw up from cleaning your vomit. Um, and I, I, sure enough, I cleaned her car, it was on, like, her vent cover, and then there was, uh, sorry, this might be too much detail. So, you know, if this is too much, stop listening. But there was a little on her vent hood. And there was, like, maybe one or two chunks actually in the car. And then I got the seatbelt a little bit because I had the seatbelt on. I just cleaned up all of it. it. took me, like, 15 minutes. just, And I was really, really thorough about it because I didn't want to be an asshole. Even though I was because I puked in someone's car. Um, and then Emma, who was one of the people who was riding in the trunk, another one of my friends, was like, by the way, um, 
we forgot that the room that you were staying in was locked when we got back. So guess what? Uh, when we went to check on you, we realized that you were still outside of their dorm on the ground, basically just kind of moving around. Oh, we're going to get a winner here. Scrone and nag. Um, go with bad egg. Another thousand on it. Whoops. But yeah, no. So like that happened, and Emma was like, "Oh yeah, by the way, so we found you outside of their dorm, kind of squirming around trying to get back inside." And uh, I took this picture. Once we got you inside, I, I left and then came back to make sure you were all right. And she showed me a picture of me in the clothes that I woke up in, which, first of all, I realized afterwards, I don't know how got on me. Because when we went to the party, I did not have clothes on underneath my onesie. Like, I had, a bo I had boxers on and nothing else. I had a fresh pair of pants on. And a, a, not a fresh Hawaiian shirt. It was a Hawaiian shirt that I had been wearing earlier in the day that I love. Um, but I was just like, what? What? How? Howing? How did that happen? And I, it was me in a, a, a pair of clothes that I do not remember putting on. With the beanbag chair that the, I had been sleeping on. On top of me using it as a blanket and she just had it captioned not real and I saw that and I just immediately started laughing I was like oh my god I'm so happy I'm so fucking happy this is what came of what happened last night because the last time someone around, like in my atmosphere threw up in a car it was my friend Jacob who I mentioned previously who threw up in my car <clears throat> on the on like the weekend it was the day before my graduation party and he had drank a shit ton of vodka orange like sodas and he threw up in my car and it reeked and it got everywhere and i i woke up sorry i didn't wake up but i i got I took him home, like, and also he threw up, like, a hundred feet from his house. So I was really pissed off, because, like, dude, we're a like, hundred feet away from your house, and you couldn't fucking hold it in. He's like, dude, I was holding it in the entire ride. I was like, that's fair, but whatever. Feed the trolls. I think I've won twice with this guy, so I'm going to put 10,000 on him. <clears throat> anyway, but, yeah, that happened, and when I got home, I was like, I can't. I Like, it's hot out. It's summer. It's hot even now during the night. I can't leave this outside, just in the heat. This is going to be disgusting. So I ended up cleaning the, up the majority of it. And it was so bad that I threw up. Like, it smelled so awful. I threw up because of it. It was so disgusting. Oh, please. No! Oh, no! Fuck! That was so good. At the end, and then it wasn't. Fuck. Fuck, man. But yeah, that happened. And also, then, I when I woke up, my dad asked me. Like he was very obviously investigating me. Like he he was basically interrogating me. Like, so what happened on the drive home last night? I was like, I'll tell you what happened on the drive home last night. Jacob drank a fuck ton of vodka threw up in my car, I got home and cleaned it, and then threw up in the yard as well. And then I threw up in the yard cleaning it up. And he goes, oh, that was your throw up in the yard. And I go, yeah. And he goes, okay, because I saw your car, and I saw the vomit on the inside of it, and I was mad at you because I, I thought that you had drank and drive. And I was like, no, I didn't drink and drive. Because I was DD, I didn't drink that night. Um... And he goes, okay, well, first of all, uh, you should have made him clean that up. I'm like, no, I'm making him clean it up today. I'm making him clean up the rest of it. I didn't clean up all of it. He goes, okay, good. Why don't you, why don't, why don't you just leave it for him? Because like, if I left it, the entire car would smell like shit for like a year. 
that's why I threw up because that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. And that that's been like that was one of the biggest things that made my dad not like Jacob. <laughs> There's been other things over time, but that that was that was the second biggest one as of now. But uh, yeah, that happened. Wage of consent is another one I think I've won on, so I think I'm gonna bet ten thousand on him. But yeah, that happened. Like, wait, well, that was like two years ago, basically. No, it was like a, a year. Ago. Yeah, a year ago. And um, <clears throat> on the way back on Sunday, I uh, realized. I know I didn't realize it. I kind of had it planned out that I was gonna do this. I haven't had McDonald's in like half a year and I, I had been craving it on occasion. Oh, damn it. Of course. I was craving it on occasion. And then I there was like three of them on the way there that I decided not to stop at. Cause I wanted to record my trip there, but I just I ended up not doing that because it was it was just too complicated. And I, I had to get my tires rotated, so it was not uh, the car is very shaky, but um, so I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm scratching my beard. Can we get something out of this. Let's we'll see. I don't think so. Ah, uh, no, he might push up. Yeah, I think so. Nope. Not enough. But uh, I, I stopped at a McDonald's on the way home, and I hadn't eaten anything all day because I had a bit of uh, chicken fingers while I, well, like before I left because I was like, I need to eat something. And I ended up throwing that up like as soon as I got back in uh, the dorms. Like I had some water, and it, it, was, it wasn't cold. It was kind of like lukewarm, and I hate warm water. So that, that just, like, triggered my body into going, like, yeah, you're going to throw up. So I went to the bathroom, I threw up, and I got back out. And then I left, like, an hour later. And I was, it, like, let me be clear. I had not really had anything in my stomach since probably 12 o'clock. Like, 12 in the morning. So I had gone 17 hours without eating anything, and I was starving. So I was like, okay, let me... My stomach's still a little unsettled, so I'm not going to go all out when, when I get to this McDonald's. I'm going to get something that I know I can eat. So I got there, and I, I was comparing prices, whatever. Because I know I used to, when I was, like, absolutely fucking starving, I used to get two of the number seven meals, which is two, which is two cheeseburgers and uh, fries. And I always used to make them large because I love the fries there. I love McDonald's fries. They're fucking great. But only because of the amount of salt they use. I wish they were thicker, but they're not. And uh, I ended up eating them. And fuck it, you know what? It's bad egg. We'll we'll put 10k on this, and this this will be like the last bet of the night because it's been a long night. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do some other things. I've got an idea for tomorrow night. I ended up getting two, sorry, not two. I got four cheeseburgers, like the normal cheeseburgers, the ones that you get in like a Happy Meal. And then I got a large fry. And I ate the large fry first because that's what goes cold first is the fries. And I ate all four of the cheeseburgers like as fast as I could. I wolfed them down. And it was so good. I I've missed Mickey D's. But the bad thing is, is it like, it really kicked me in the ass and I craved trash food again cuz so I used to get I used to eat fast food and trash food all the time like it was a real issue and that was before I lost and then gained a lot of weight cuz I actually started exercising but um yeah I ended up basically what I'm trying to get at is eating all that McDonald's led me to go get like those microwavable burgers like those single ones, they're called Fast Bites where I live, or at least by the store that I get them at, and they're garbage, but I love them, or I thought I did, I don't really anymore, they, I kind of hate them, they're kind of making me want to throw up eating them, and they definitely make my stomach want to die, so yeah, I uh, had a hell of a time 
with like this last week. Not last week, but like these past two days, because I've had three of those bad burgers a day. And then after the the one day where I had four Mickey D's burgers and fries. Anyways, sorry, I went on a huge fucking tangent. Uh, I think I'm done with the gambling stream tonight. I will be back tomorrow night at, I do believe, 9 p.m. I might be back later than that. I don't... Not later. I might be back sooner than that. I don't think I'll start it, though. Um, I think I'll be gambling again. But I'm not too totally sure. Anyway, yeah, that's it. You guys have a great evening.